Hello, open stage. It's good to be back. Do we have any couples in the audience? Yeah. Yeah, that's what happy people sound like. I mean, like, come on, like, I drink like a Buick of beer a night, like the way my life is going, the only way I'm gonna get a boyfriend is if I go to prison. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard dating these days, it really is, especially when you have a voice like this. Um, people always assume that I'm a female on the phone all the time. <laughs> like, even at the drive throughs at like fast food restaurants, they're like, okay, ma'am, just pull up to the window, we'll have your total up there. And I always, like, I used to, like, try and, like, like argue with them. I'm like, no, I'm a sir. I promise I'm a sir. And then this weird thing happened where they became embarrassed, and then I got embarrassed that they're embarrassed, so it was just <laughs> way too awkward. So now I just go along with it. They say ma'am, and I'm like, yes, that's me. I'm a ma'am. That's me. That's me. And then, um... But now, like, and I have this weird thing about myself, like, where I lie, and then I get really nervous that I'm lying, and then I just overly lie, and it gets ridiculous. So um, I called to schedule my haircut last week, and I'm like, hi, uh, do you have anything uh, next Tuesday available for a men's haircut? Uh, let me see. Uh, yes, I have something around 3 o'clock. What's the name of your husband? <laughs> His name's Cody. My husband's name is Cody. <laughs> Does Cody have any personal preferences? Yes, actually, last time he was there, they cut his hair and he resembled Rosie O'Donnell. He was not happy about that. <laughs> He's very specific about his hair. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. It's okay, it's fine. He just gets very angry at me sometimes. I think he might have anger problems. <laughs> By the end of this conversation, I was like, he drinks a lot and sometimes he takes it out of me and the kids, I'm scared, call someone! <laughs> Awkward things happen to me on a daily basis. Like, I was just grocery shopping this morning and this little girl was just running up and down the aisles, just running up and down, like sugar crazy. And she stops and looks at me. And then she looks at her mom and she goes, Mom, is that a boy or a girl? I knew at that moment I wanted to scare the shit out of that little girl, so I look back and I go, I'm both. <laughs> Usually the mom is like too tired and exhausted to like at least apologize on her kid's behalf. She's just like, come on, sweetie. <laughs> Let's just need the nice hermaphrodite alone. <laughs> I was in LA recently and I discovered in LA, as a gay man, if you're not like fit and built and tan and perfect and gorgeous, they don't even treat you like shit. They're actually confused by you. <laughs> I was at a gay bar and, or club and this couple were dancing. I mean, I think it was something like, I, I don't know, this is how gay guys dance, something like this. And then they just stop and they look at me like they're on some like nature safari and they just saw an animal they'd never seen before. <laughs> Chris, what the hell is that? It's not a furry. Derek, I have no effing clue. Wait, I think I saw this on the Discovery Channel. I think this is like one of those southern gays. <laughs> oh, I heard that those eat right out of the palm of your hand. What do they eat? Carbohydrates. Perfect, bring me some of that bar snack over there. Excuse me. And I'm just left awkward. I'm like, hey guys, what's up? Oh, hell yeah, those croutons. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys with this one. I'm afraid of vaginas. No. I usually like to just like, have a little silence right there just to see what happens. Um, I'm afraid of vaginas and it's not because like I'm afraid of uh, women or anything like that or I think women are gross. I just have a really fucked up interpretation of what a vagina actually is. And it's all based off of things you guys have told me that goes on down there. Like everything that goes on. Like if I was to see one right now and I don't know why a vagina would just appear to me. <laughs> 
But if it did, I'd probably be like, okay, well, I, <laughs> I guess that's where you have sex and babies pop out the same place and you get Wi-Fi there and <laughs> those are the curtains you close up at night so the neighbors don't see you and somewhere starting all the shit is a bouncy castle. <laughs> but I have seen a vagina one time in my life my friend was really drunk and um, she thought it'd be funny to show me and she lifted up her dress and it breathed. <laughs> it went a little bit something like this. It was like... <laughs> like it had a bad day or something. <laughs> All right, that's my time. I'm Cody. Thank you.